In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the text on your ad listing page. So let's get started. Firstly, log into the admin area of your WordPress website. We click on Premium Press. We click on Design. We use the Edit Design option. And on this section, we can see all of the pages that we can edit. Now, these are template pages. So they're pages that are built into the Premium Press theme that you can use the tools here to edit. So in this example, we're gonna go ahead and edit the Add Listing page. So if we scroll down, you can see we have this option here, Add Listing, which is the page where users go to your website. So if I show you this page here, this is the Add Listing page. So we're gonna edit the options that are available here. So we can change, for example, the text at the top, text underneath, and the text at the bottom. Now the section here with the, um, the payment options, so these are the listing plan plans that we have on our website, these are changed in a separate section. And if you check out the add listing page video tutorial, you can see where we can set these up. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to change the text at the top at the bottom. Uh, and then obviously if you want to change or customize it, I'll show you how to do that as well. So again, we're gonna use this section. Now to begin with, I have you can, you can see where it says edit page. If I click this, I'm going to see a drop down option and here I can see all the default um, templates that are in the premium press theme. Now this is displayed this way because I have turned Elementor off. So basically what it's going to do, it allow you to edit the basic options within the premium press theme. So to do this, I would simply click configure. It's going to load the section. This is style one. So if I just show you again, the style one is this pricing plan box here. So this refers to the pricing um, block here. So again, if I click configure, use the title section, if I just add one, two, three to the end, click save changes. Now if we go to my website and give it a refresh, you can see the text has now been changed and we have this one, two, three added to the end. So that's how I would change the um, text on this section if I haven't enabled Elementor. Now again, if I go ahead and enable Elementor, so we go to plugins, Elementor. Okay, if I go back to again, Premium Press, Design, Edit Pages, you'll see that the edit option has changed slightly and there's a little Elementor icon next to it. And that means that you can now edit the page using Elementor. So again, if I scroll all the way down, find the Add Listing page, here it is. We can use Elementor. Now, when I click this button here, Edit, it's gonna load the design into Elementor this time. So whereas before I click it and it would just give me a drop down and I change the text that way, this way it's gonna load it into Elementor. So, okay, so we have a visual element, so we can now visually see the design blocks are on this page. So again, if I just change this, and this time I'm just gonna change the text. So I'm gonna go, um, thanks for viewing. Just a very basic example, click update. And I want to go to my website and give it a refresh. You can see the text has now been changed to thanks for viewing. So the difference here is this is now loading the design using Elementor. So this page can be completely customized because I can just drag and drop and add my own options into this design. Whereas if I'm not using Elementor, I can only use the default design options. So again, if I go back to plugins and turn off Elementor, and off Elementor, deactivate, skip, premium press, design, edit the pages. You can see the icon has now been reverted back to the default um, theme options. If I turn this off, so I just use the default ad listing page, click save settings. Okay, if I go back to my um, ad listing page, give it a refresh. So obviously we've gone back to the design setup we had before. You can see the design options are limited because obviously there's no drag and drop element or options. So again, under the add listening page, if I click edit, now we have the default design blocks. So these design blocks you can customize just by using the configure option, but you're limited to only these two design blocks. So again, if you want to add more functionality and um, display options on the actual ad listing page, you would use Elementor. And if you just want to customize it and you're not using Elementor, you can use the default design options that are in the premium press theme. Thanks for watching.